Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to see who is coming towards you next in love. We are going to look at Aries all the way through Pisces. I will write the timestamps down so you can come back and check your sun, moon, or rising. If you'd like your own personal reading, my email address or my website is listed down below. So we're going to start with Aries first. First, let's find out, Aries, when are you going to have the next person coming towards you in love? Aries. Okay, around the next full moon for some of you and in the spring for others of you. And for some of you, it's going to be in the autumn time. Let's see. The number one and the number five are very significant. So you can see a lot of ones or fives right before you meet this next person. So let's see where you're going to meet this person, Aries. Okay, so for some of you, it's gonna be like at a farmer's market, some type of socializing area where there is a lot of people, where there is a, could be like a flea market, something that has a lot of different people that are out shopping. It's gonna be a really congested area. For others of you, there could be some type of walking bridge or some type of bridge that has some type of festival or some type of event that is nearby a major bridge in the area where you live and that is where you're going to meet this person when you are commuting to maybe go to the farmer's market or you're going to be um, going to some type of event socializing out in society. You'll be seeing ones and fives so this person could be born in the month of January or in the month of five. We do see 37, so this person could be 37 years old. If it is a masculine, it is somebody with a longer hair. He does have facial hair. This is someone who family is a priority to this person. So this person could already have children. They could be divorced. You could have children. You could join families together. This person has had a lot of deceit in their past, so maybe they got divorced because their spouse wasn't honest with them, but they are somebody who has worked through those problems in their past. They are somebody who will also compliment you. They're going to be very different than you, so they could have very different beliefs than you, and they are someone who grew up in a very different upbringing than you. So let's find out some details about the connection for Aries. Okay, so this is someone who is going to be very protective over you, Aries. They will make sure that nobody hurts you or takes advantage of you. They are somebody who has a personality that is very competitive and they may like to play sports or they may like to do things that do require them competing for things. This is somebody who is also very charming. When they come towards you, they will come towards you with the intention of just being friends, but they're gonna end up actually falling in love with you and they will tell you that first. This is a situation where this person will want higher level of commitment. Like I said, they are divorced or they were in a long-term relationship in the past where they do have children. And this is somebody who will want to actually either get remarried or they will want to get married. They're also somebody who you will find that you will be able to trust this person. This is a situation where this person is going to be very open and honest with you about their past. And that is going to establish a really strong bond between the two of you. This is someone who also is very charitable. So they do like to give back to the community. They like to help those that are less fortunate. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, let's see who is coming towards you next in love. First thing I want to see is when. For some of you, it's going to be in the winter time, so winter time is approaching really soon. For others of you, it's going to be sooner than you expect, so it may be very, very soon. Let's see where you're going to meet somebody for us. The person coming towards you next in love, where will you meet this person? Okay, for some of you, it's going to be by a riverbank. So if you're planning to go camping or hiking, it is somewhere that has like a lookout point. You may be going to the lookout point to look over at the river or the water or the grassland. Yeah, this is definitely going to be um, some type of 
travel involved here. So you could be commuting to go on a camping trip with your family or with a friend's group. There is something to do with the water, something to do with moisture. They could have like waterfalls or something like that in the area. Who is coming towards Taurus next in love? Who is this person? Okay, so this person could be 24 years old or you could be 24 years old. This is somebody who has a lot of opportunities. This is somebody who they are someone who's very attractive and they do have a lot of people that are interested in them. But this is somebody, they could have Leo in their chart. They don't have to, but they could. But this is somebody who you share the same religious background with this person. The number four could be significant, the month of April and the number three. So you could be seeing a lot of threes and fours right before you meet this person. And this is three and there is a four here also. And one and two is three. So three and four, so 34 or 43 could be relevant. This is somebody who, like I said, you do share the same similar background as far as values or religious beliefs or spirituality. This is someone who's going to actually pour into you on an emotional level. This is not something that you're going to expect because you're not expecting to meet this person. As far as the relationship itself, this is someone who is going to be very stable and secure. And they are going to have the idea to actually for the two of you to be in this connection. So you could actually meet this person through your friends. Like if you're going to like a camping reunion with friends or family, like maybe a class reunion is gonna be at like a campground or something that has like a camp outing. That is where you're going to connect with this person. And this person is going to be somebody who's gonna be really ambitious in overcoming the obstacles of getting to know you. Because I feel like you will be in this energy of maybe recently coming out of a relationship, so you may not be in the mindset of actually wanting to date someone. But this person is going to take the challenge of trying to help you overcome that pain and recognize that they are somebody who is a strong suitor and a, a potential for long-term stability because this is someone who does want a, a strong foundation and they want a long-term relationship. Gemini. Okay, Gemini, let's see who's coming towards you next in love. When are they coming towards you? For some of you, in a few weeks. For others of you, sometime within the next six months from you watching this video. Let's see where you're going to meet somebody, Gemini. For some of you, it could be at a swimming pool. So if you decide to go to a swimming pool or if you're going to a tanning bed, there is something with a sunless tanning is what I'm seeing, a tanning bed. Also, for others of you, if you do are not into tanning or you're not into swimming, it could be at the local coffee house. So you could be deciding to try some type of pastry or bagel that they have in the counter and that is when you are going to meet this person. This is somebody is a coffee lover, so that is something that the two of you will have in common is that you both really do enjoy a nice cup of coffee. Hot coffee is what I'm hearing. You are gonna be very different from each other. 22 could be very significant. This person is really going to compliment you. And they are somebody who, they're coming with their hand in their heart. They're somebody who will always think about what you need and what you want when it comes to a loving connection. They are very attractive. If it is a man, he has extremely long hair. If it is a woman, she also has very long hair. And this is somebody who will want to be a companion with you first. So this is somebody who might be a little bit older than you. There might be a little bit of an age difference. They're a little bit more of a classic type person. So they like to do things a little more traditional. So they may want to get to know you first, date you, and then get into a relationship. They could have Gemini in their chart. This is somebody who is going to invest the time and the energy into this connection because they're going to see you as this empress. Look at that. We have that four wands at the bottom of the deck. They are looking at a long-term partnership. That is what this person wants. They are not in it to date multiple people. They are somebody who wants to be exclusive and they're investing their time and energy into you. They feel like the progression in this connection is something that will be worth their time. 
So we do see number four and number two that is coming up. So you could be seeing a lot of twos and a lot of fours. So you may have to make a decision, Gemini, when this person comes towards you to determine if you are looking for exclusive relationship because this person is wanting an exclusive relationship. Cancer. Okay, Cancer, let's see who's coming towards you next in love. Let's see when they're coming towards you, Cancer. Okay, for some of you, it's in the month of October. This video is being recorded on the last day of October, so you could be meeting somebody today. Otherwise, if you're watching this video after October, it is in the month of October next year. For others of you, it's in the month of December, so it could be happening really soon. Let's see where you might be meeting this person, Cancer. Where is Cancer going to meet the person coming towards them next in love? For some of you, it is when you are going to be commuting. Maybe you're going on a road trip and you have to take a, a train or a plane. You have to do some type of traveling. It does require travel. You're going to be on your way to the destination of wherever it is. For others of you, it is going to be um, at a hotel. So if you're going to a convention or if you are going on vacation, there is some type of hotel involvement that you're staying at. You could meet this person in the hotel lobby, maybe at the hotel uh, lounge, having dinner or having drinks during happy hour. That is when you're going to meet this person. So let's find out, Cancer, who is this person coming towards you next in love? Okay, so this is somebody who's been single for a very long time. They are in a hurt energy. So they may actually tell you that they just came out of a relationship or a marriage. That actually might be how the two of you start your conversation. But this is somebody who has invested all of their time and their energy into their career now because they don't have that relationship anymore. They're kind of in a, um, a hurt energy when you meet them. They're not in this space of wanting a relationship or even in the, the emotional capacity of being able to have a relationship. So you are somebody who is nurturing and caring and this person is going to see that about you. You're somebody who's very grounded and you will help this person through the struggle that they have. And through your friendship, you will actually establish a relationship with this person in time because this person is on the mending part of their overcoming the hurt from their past. This is definitely gonna be a situation where you may be a little bit indecisive because of this person telling you about the hurt and the situation they're going through when you meet them. And you may have a little bit of being confused if you even want to talk to this person because you are seeking somebody, but this person really is not. You're looking for your partner, you're looking for a companion. But your intuition is going to tell you there's something about this person that you need to stay focused on them, that there is something that you need to be more disciplined with starting a friendship with them for this to evolve and grow. And that's how you're gonna know that this is the person that is coming towards you next in love. When you meet them, you're going to feel like you don't want to really maybe entertain the thought of getting to know them because they are in this hurt energy. But it is a mask at the beginning because they're coming through that hurt. They're just not there yet. Some numbers that might be relevant, five and three. So 35 or 53 could be very significant. The month or the ages or the dates could be very relevant to this connection, Cancer. Leo. Okay, Leo, let's see who is coming towards you next in love. Okay, first let's see when someone is coming towards Leo next in love. In divine timing, which means you're not supposed to know. And for others of you, it says very soon. It's going to be something that you're not expecting. It's going to be pretty shocking. Let's find out where you're going to be meeting somebody, Leo. Okay, for some of you, it's going to be at the grocery store or the supermarket. Maybe you're going to get some fresh produce. 
For others of you, it could be on a walking trail. So if you like to go for walking, you like to go out in nature and you like to experience new locations, this is going to be um, a, a path that you have not been down before. So maybe you are going with somebody 444 on the clock. So that is just our confirmation that you could be seeing a lot of fours right before you meet this person. There could also be a path or a walking trail or something that is right by a supermarket or a produce stand that you always go to. That is where you're going to meet this person, Leo. So let's find out a little bit about who is this person coming towards Leo next in love, okay? So we do see 25, 18, and 14. Okay, so Leo, so this is somebody who you may feel that they are deceitful or dishonest because they are not fully transparent with everything when you first start talking to this person. And it may stress you out a little bit about this person, but you're gonna recognize that it's all a front. This person actually puts off this perception that they're hiding something, but they're actually not. This is all a disguise because this person is very protective. They're actually very nurturing and caring once you get to know them, yeah. This is somebody who you will overcome the struggle of this persona that this person puts off when you first meet them to get to know them because this is actually your soulmate. It's somebody who's in disguise that the universe is testing you to see if you are actually going to reject this person or not. So Leo, you are being put to the test by the universe to see if you really can authentically use your intuition to guide you in making the right decision. And if you do overcome this, this is actually your soulmate underneath the, the disguise of what the universe is doing because sometimes that's what happens. The universe puts you to test to see if you're actually ready and prepared to receive the person the universe has for you. This is somebody who is very well versed. They are very successful and they're very accomplished in their own right and they are gonna be somebody who's gonna be very balanced. So they will care a lot about you, Leo, and a lot about making sure that you are feeling good all the time. They're somebody who will bring in a lot of balance in this connection. So numbers that might be significant is six and six. So you could be seeing a lot of sixes right before you meet this person or right after you meet this person, Leo. Virgo. Okay, Virgo, who is coming towards you next in love? Let's find out when. Okay, so for some of you in the month of September, so next fall, for others of you, it's up in the air, so it's indecisive. So it's kind of going to be based on what happens over the next few months, the next year or two. It could be that there is nobody aligned in your path right now, and that could be because you're in the middle of a transitionary period where you're not going to be meeting somebody just yet. So it's leaning heavily towards the month of September for most of you. As far as location, we do have a, a canopy area, a forest area, and for others of you, we have like a wildlife conservation, a zoo, maybe um, a wildlife rehab facility for animals. So if you're into animals, there is a area that you may be traveling towards or you may be going to visit. Maybe you have people coming in town to visit you and they've never been there, but you have, you decide to go to that location. Um, also forest is something, so if you like to be out in nature, this is something that is heavily treed. You could be going to some type of anniversary party that has like the white canopies that's outside. There's gonna be a lot of trees and a lot of greenery there. That could be where you are meeting this person, Virgo. So let's find out a little bit about the person coming towards Virgo next in love. <clears throat> Okay, so we have women holding the heart, contract, and the thinking man. Okay, so this is somebody who is very analytical. Somebody that could be 44, 46, or there could be a six-year age difference between the two of you. This person is somebody who comes with their heart open. They are ready to give to a connection. They're very wise. They're very knowledgeable, so they could have a higher level of education. 
This is somebody who is going to be very fair when it comes to this connection. They're also going to be looking for higher level of commitment as far as marriage. They may want to legally actually get married one day, and that could be something this person's going to tell you. This is somebody who's been single for a very long time. They may tell you about a opportunity they had in the past of actually being in a relationship, but they contemplated and they chose not to. So they might have been engaged in the past, Virgo, and they decided not to go through with that engagement and that is something that since then they really have not dated so they've been single for quite some time but this is somebody who is very conservative with their money so they do like to save they like to do things maybe outside that are free and they like to enjoy their companionship alone so they are somebody who is a little more introverted but they are somebody who will like to spend time with you when you are available because they are somebody who is very stable within their own right. They don't need to be like in front of you all the time. They are somebody who will like to spend time with you when they can. Numbers that might be relevant, number two, twos are very significant and maybe even sixes could be significant. So you could be seeing a lot of twos or six is the month of June, the month of February could be relevant in meeting this person, Virgo. Libra. Twenty forty two. Okay, Libra, let's see when someone is coming towards you next in love. Okay, so First of all, it's up to you is the first one, which means that you have to be open and receptive to receiving love. And for others of you, a long time. So Libra, what's going on? Are you being very closed off with not wanting someone to come towards you? Because it looks like it's gonna be at least a year before you meet somebody that's coming towards you next in love. So you've maybe been closed off to love and divine timing is at play waiting for you to go through your transitionary period but when you do meet somebody next year it looks like it's going to be at some type of art exhibit some type of museum something that has collections for others of you it could be when you decide to go out dancing you decide to be with other people and socializing that has music and lights and adult drinks it could be at a party of some sort but there is going to be a nighttime atmosphere for others of you this person is somebody who is got their throat chakra fully open this is someone who likes to talk a lot so they're going to have a lot of conversations with you they are somebody who is um, very talkative when it comes to what they want and what they expect they have a huge friend circle they they socialize quite a bit so they may like to go out a lot and they have a, a lot of people that they do like to interact with. So this is somebody who will bring you around things that maybe you've never experienced before, around people that you never even thought that did certain types of hobbies or interests. This is somebody that is going to be very transparent with you about their past and about their opportunities. This could be somebody who is divorced. They are definitely somebody who did not do the best things in their past. They have a past. They have a, they have a strong past that's not the greatest. It's a little bit toxic, um, but they've worked through that. They've, they've paid their dues. They've done the right thing since their past, and now they're doing the right thing with making sure that they're being truthful and honest with who they are, and they're trying to live a very authentic life, Libra. So numbers that might be significant is four or two. This person could be 33, 39, or 38. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, let's see when the person is coming towards you next in love. Okay, for some of you in the month of June, for others of you, it is going to be in the summertime. And for some of you, it's going to be within three months of you watching this video. Let's find out where you might possibly meet this person, Scorpio. Okay, so it looks like at some type of elevator. So you could be at the mall, taking the elevator up and down. Or for others of you, it could be out in nature. So maybe you're gonna go on a picnic, you're gonna go to a local park and have a picnic. You may go and decide to read a book or just kind of sit and watch nature and meditate and relax and find your inner peace. 
and that is going to be a time period. If you uh, work in a building that has an elevator, that could be where you are gonna meet this person, Scorpio. A Little bit about this person. This is somebody who is going through a little bit of a financial difficulty, so they could be coming out of a relationship where they had to move recently, and they may tell you that. When you meet them on the elevator, maybe you they recently moved into your apartment or your condo building, and that is something they may tell you, like, oh, I recently broke up with somebody, and I am now in a little bit of a bind, so I've had to move, and moving expenses, and you know, that's kind of how this is all gonna get started. This is somebody who is gonna be really open and honest with you with what they're going through, but there is gonna be this healing energy that you're gonna bring to this person that's gonna allow this person to feel like they can talk to you because they are somebody who is going to be very open and transparent about what has happened. They are working really, really hard. They are not focused on a relationship because they have a lot of healing that they're trying to go through, but they're going to see you as somebody who's happy. So you may start out as just like casual neighbors if you do live in the same building or maybe you live by the same park. Maybe it's like a dog park and you both take your dogs to the dog park. But this person has been really just focused on their money and their finances and that is going to be their priority. But they are gonna enjoy and feel inspired to really come out of their their low energy and be more positive and happy around you because you have a really positive energy and aura around you, this person's really gonna learn to appreciate. Numbers that might be significant are four and two, so you could be seeing these numbers right before you meet this person or when you meet this person. The number 34, 49, and 13 could also be significant, Scorpio. Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see who's coming towards you next in love. When are they coming towards Sagittarius? For some of you, it is the next new moon. And for others of you, in a few days. Okay, Sagittarius, you got somebody coming really soon. Let's find out where you're going to meet this person. Sagittarius. Okay, there's a parking lot or a parking garage. So if you work in a building that has a parking garage or maybe you need to go to a location that has a parking garage, you're going to an event or something, you're gonna meet this per person in the parking garage. Maybe you're going to a concert and they have a parking garage. That is where you're gonna meet this person. So for some of you, it may be in the parking lot. For others, it may be when you're going to some type of live performance or some type of concert of some sort. Could be music related, could be like a play or something like that. This is somebody who's really patient and kind. Somebody who has had a past where they've been hurt and disappointed and they have thought a lot about their past and they've really worked through everything that they've needed to work through. And that's something this person's gonna let you know that they are slow to move when it comes to love and romance because of what they had happened in their past, but they are somebody who is very romantic, very genuine, and they're going to love you a lot. They're going to be somebody who is going to be really considerate of your feelings, that you're allowing them to be patient coming into this connection because this is something this person, um, it took them a long time to have patience and they've worked really, really hard on supporting themselves and being vulnerable on an emotional level and it's not something that comes easy for this person. So this person is um, also somebody who enjoys being around family, so family is a priority for this person. The number two and the number six are significant, and the number five. Also, this person could be 23, 32, or 48. Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, let's see who's coming towards you next in love. When are they coming? Okay, so for some of you, it's not likely to happen right now or when you expect it. For others of you, it's going to be in June, or I'm sorry, in July or in January. Maybe it's June, and that's why it says not likely. So let's find out where you might possibly meet this person, Capricorn. Okay, for some of you, it is going to be when you are experimenting on doing something different. You're making a change of some sort and you decide to go experiment something. 
For others of you, it could be when you are maybe wanting to go out in the snow, like the winter months is January, so you could be deciding to go skiing, you could decide to go to some type of area that has snow where it's really, really cold. For others of you, it could be on the beach. So you are gonna be in this ex exploration energy, Capricorn, in July or in January, and you could be wanting to explore hobbies or interests that you've never done before. So maybe you're gonna go snorkeling, you're gonna learn how to surf, or maybe you're gonna learn how to snowboard. Something that you've not done before is where you're going to meet this person. There's some type of exploration that you're gonna go through that uh, something that's very opposite of what your norm is, it's gonna bring you out of your shell to do this, and that's where you're gonna meet this person. This is somebody who, is very well versed and traveled. They may be a little bit defensive when they first meet you because they maybe you are trying to tell them how to do something Capricorn and you don't like that and you may take a little bit of offense to it. But this is somebody who is really kind. They do want to start out as friends and they're going to be really physically attracted to you Capricorn. So they are also somebody who is very spiritual. We do see, yeah, they're very... Um, expressive with their words they're very articulate and they are somebody who they could have Aries in their chart a little bit Capricorns so they are somebody who is very direct and you may come across a little bit offensive like I said with how direct they are but this underlying it all Capricorn this is somebody that is going to choose you and you're going to choose them this is going to be a connection where you both are going to be physically attracted to each other it's kind of one of those situations where you really should be repelled by each other by the way the two of you interact when you first meet, but there's something about the two of you you feel drawn to each other. I don't want to say soulmate because I don't feel like this is soulmate, even though generally this card means soulmate. I feel like it's more of the physical attraction is the reason you choose and this person chooses to continue to talk to each other. So this is gonna be a connection where you're both gonna kind of surrender and look at things from a different perspective. Like I said, you look at each other. Initially, like you're not interested because of however the conversation starts out, it comes across a little abrupt on both sides, but you're both gonna change your perspective once you actually start talking to each other a little bit more and you have a little more in-depth conversation. Numbers that might be significant are four and five. So that could be this person's age, um, I'm sorry, month. It could be the date you meet them. 26, 29, or 32 could also be significant. Could be your age or could be their age. Aquarius. Thirty-one, fifty-one. Okay, Aquarius, let's see who's coming towards Aquarius next in love. When is this person coming towards you? For some of you, it's more than a year. For others of you, it is in the month of March. Let's see where you're going to meet this person. You could be going to the mountains. Okay, yeah, we definitely have the mountains here. And then there's also a place that is very sentimental to you. You could be going to visit something maybe in your hometown that you haven't been to in a very long time. And it's a place that reminds you of a lot of hurt and pain. Something from your past Aquarius that you, with the holidays coming up in springtime, maybe it's a reunion of some sort. Something is taking you back to a place that you don't have the greatest memories at, but that's actually where you're going to meet this person. It's going to change your perspective of that place. There could be something that, you know, maybe you lost a close person that lived in that area or a friend of some sort. This is somebody who they are very intuitive and they are somebody who they don't show their emotions right away to you but they are underlying somebody who's gonna make you really happy. There are, they are somebody who is going to be a very stable and secure person. This is somebody who intuitively, when they start talking to you, they're gonna just be more intrigued because their intuition is gonna tell them something about you that they need to exchange phone numbers with you and get to know you. It's one of those things like, speak now or forever hold your peace. If they don't speak up, they know that they may not get the opportunity again to meet you. So yeah, this is somebody who, 
they, there is going to be a little bit of um, some disagreements because you are very different from each other. But this is somebody who is really responsible. And they work really hard with where they've been at in their life. And they're going to tell you about those struggles that they've had in their past. They are somebody who is in a really good place when you meet them. And they're in a place of having fun and enjoying life and really just trying to live their best life, live every day like it's their last. So that's kind of their mentality. So you could be seeing a rainbow also right before you meet this person. It could be significant. Number fours, fours are very significant, so 44. And number six is also significant. This person could be 25, 52, or 37. You could also be seeing a lot of ones right before you meet this person, which is your intuition telling you you're about to meet somebody. Okay, Pisces, 3454. Okay, Pisces, who is coming towards you next in love? Let's see when they're coming towards you. Okay, next month for some of you, for others of you within a year from now. For, so within a year of watching this video, let's see where are you going to meet somebody, Pisces. The person coming towards you next in love. Okay, so for some of you that are in school, you could be a teacher or you could be in school yourself learning. For others of you, you could be out shopping. Maybe you decide to go to like an antique place, something that has like handcrafted items, something that is really special. For others of you, are gonna meet somebody there. A little bit about this person for Pisces. This person is very patient. You're going to meet this person when you are coming out of something major in your life that you are going to feel very successful. Maybe you've had like a really hard test that you were studying for, an exam, and you aced it. Um, maybe you are coming out of a situation where you really were stressed out for a very long time and you allowed yourself the time to work through it and you became very vict victorious and successful. So it's, it's gonna come at a time, Pisces, when you're not wanting to meet somebody because you're in kind of coming out of the middle of a major change or turmoil in your life. You could be also seeing a lot of 10, 10, when you are about to meet this person, Pisces. That's how you're gonna know. As far as this connection, this is a situation where this person is uh, very attractive. You're going to be very attracted to them. They're going to be attracted to you. This is going to be something very impulsive that you may be indecisive because you're just coming out of something really crazy and stressful in your own life, whether or not you even want to exchange numbers with this person. But this person is going to be fearless and very impulsive in trying to make you um, see that they are a good choice or an option for you. So they are somebody who will be very driven in getting the two of you up off the ground to know each other. So they're gonna be very persistent, meaning they're gonna pursue you because they are very attracted to you. The number six and the number four could be significant. This person could be 26 or 28. Like I said, you're gonna see a lot of tens right before you meet this person. You could see 10, 10 like on the clock, you could see it on the internet, you could see it anywhere, but you're gonna see a lot of tens right before you meet this person, Pisces. 